Welcome back to another video guys here on YouTube. My name is Marcus. You're watching the Machanta Vlogs today um, We are gonna be working on the motor the transmission and the intake manifold. You guys see we got it all off Motors looking good. Um, we got to clean it up the sensors. It doesn't really matter So I'm gonna leave these sensor here these sensors here I'm gonna probably take them off once we do uh, the paint on the motor. So that's what we're doing today We're gonna paint the motor up make it look nice and clean um, this side. We already uh, degreased it took off the dirt and the grime and now you guys can see it looks nice and clean we blocked off the uh, vtex solenoid right there for the oil we uh, blocked off all the ports as well and um motor's looking clean on this side we do have to remove everything on this side here all the pulleys but other than that uh we're gonna remove this uh timing cover as well and get that painted as well and uh this side of the motor here you guys can see is really really gunky you guys can see in there and that's the the mission that we're on guys i told you guys in the previous video that we are going to be doing this for our uh, beauty uh, I want to have like the nicest motor I can, like to my uh, standards. <laughs> I know there's people with high ass standards, not me. I just want to have something pretty, something nice, something clean. And I decided that um, this is like the best route to do right now that the motor is out. And uh, I have gaskets coming in. I have pretty much everything here. I went out yesterday. I went to Clausen, got a VTEC solenoid gasket. So that way once it's ready, I'll throw that back on so we don't get no dirt or debris in there. I did go out buy some spray paint as well. And uh, we're going to get this baby painted to make it look nice and clean again. We're going to get that original, like the, the color of the block originally, like that like silver color. I don't know, something like this. We're going to make it look nice and very, very clean. If it's silver or gray, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, we want to make this thing look beautiful. And to do so, um, we got to go through the, through the struggle, guys. So we're going to get all the dirt and grime off of everything here. Trans or transmission intake manifold and the motor when it gets removing all these pulleys here the housing for the water pump as well for right now like i said let's degrease this motor um get it ready for paint because um it's gonna be a long night all right guys so a lot a lot of time time has passed by already it's already seven o'clock i got here at 4 30 so three hours um we already got everything removed from the motor itself from the uh, block and head and um yes see we have no manifold um, we showed you guys a manifold a little while ago. Um, we got the water pump, all the pulleys off except for this main pulley. We had our uh, impact gun right here and our hose uh, for our compressor, but we could not get this thing off for the life of me. So um, I'm not going to be able to paint the uh, timing cover like I wanted to. And um, that's what's going on here. Let me flip this thing around. We'll come over here. And um, here we have our manifold. That thing is drying up. That's what the transmission is looking like right now. It looks pretty damn clean. Ooh, guys, check that out. How clean does that look, bro? So I used um, Purple Power, which we have right here in a bottle. I just used it so that we could spray it out. But um, I got a $5 bottle at Walmart. It's like one um, uh, one gallon. So if you guys want to cop some, it's like 5 bucks. Um, we still have little things to do. Um, but this side here is uh, pretty much degreased, ready to go. We just got to mask it up one more time. Um, we got to get some stuff cleaned out, like right here. Um, I couldn't get into some of the crevices because the brushes I'm using, but those crevices don't really matter. I might go over it again tomorrow and uh, just make sure it's all clean. But for the most part, we're good. I'm happy with how it turned out. I can't wait for paint. It's going to look super, super good. I can't, like I said, I can't wait. Um, it's always exciting when um, things come together like this and I can't wait for tomorrow. So, All right, guys. So you guys can see we have the heat gun right here pointed at the block. We've been letting it sit like that for probably like the last... 20, 30, 20 to 35 minutes around there um, just to warm it up a little bit so that once uh, the paint goes on it actually sticks because if not it's gonna be too fresh out here um, I know it's like 60 some it's like 64 degrees out right now but um that's I guess too fresh for the aluminum um, I want it to stick and I want it to only or I want to only do this one time so uh, making sure that that thing is warm I got to do the other side in just a second so I'm gonna paint this side and once this side is done the other side will be um, warming up um, a lot of paint is gonna go on in this video I'm gonna try to do my best I can of filming it so um just bear with me um this is just the start guys um, if you're excited let me know in the comments down below rate how you think this thing is gonna go a uh, 1 to 10 um, you guys think it's gonna come out crappy do like a zero or a one two three and then just go from there I think it's going to come out probably like a, around a six-ish, maybe seven-ish. Um, I'm kind of cutting it short, but hopefully it turns out better than that. I'm super, super excited. Um, let's just get this thing underway so we can see how it looks.
So that is the first layer right there. I know that the uh, lighting isn't perfect, but believe me when I tell you, it came out pretty damn good. Came out probably like seven inch um, out of ten. Um, I needed to do a little bit more degreasing, a little bit more cleaning off some dirt on little spots, but um, um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys earlier that um, there was like hard to reach spots. The brushes I had were not doing it justice or not doing me a favor and hooking me up. But um, overall, like I said, like a six, seven ish, could have been better. It's still gonna look good regardless once we uh, throw the motor in. We're gonna do one more coat just to be safe. Just one more light coat, like I said. I looked right there like I was spraying a lot, but kind of sprayed from far, kind of like didn't spray directly. And um, like I said, hopefully this thing turns out amazing. Um, we're gonna start doing the rest of these uh, little pieces all these little other pieces i won't bore you guys with those but i'll show you guys the finished products and um we'll just go from there but for right now guys i'm i'm loving how it turned out um like i said um in an uh, earlier or in the previous video don't worry about the hatch it's gonna get painted i don't care if it gets um a little bit of a uh, overspray and i don't really care about these cars out here either so um don't worry about those cars i don't give a fuck about those <laughs> so anyway uh and look who showed up Look, look who showed up. You guys haven't seen this motherfucker in a minute. Say what's up. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> he showed up real fast, so I had to stop what I was doing to come and help him out. Um, We are installing a system for him right now. So he has his, um, what kind is this? A kicker real, real quick. A little, what is it a 12 way? Yeah. A 10? So it's 10. Uh, And we got his uh amp right here. We already got pretty much everything hooked up. We're working on the... Uh, ground right now and we're working on the power as well and that's it and then uh we should have some base in here so give us a couple minutes to figure this thing out and uh you guys will see this thing bumping real quick look what the cat drugged in <laughs> fucking frankie you took long enough bitch he said he was gonna come like around two he comes like around six already well, that cop was chasing me, shut up fool <laughs> let me zoom in on your face fool lagging ass fool <laughs> I could like this. It's good. What up, guys? Well, you could like this fucking freezing way. All right, so so far we got a seat out. We're working on getting out the carpet that way, or lifting up the carpet a little bit, so that way we can get the what are we getting? What? Uh, you don't want to tell them? I'll, yeah, I'll let you tell them. What are we doing? We're putting all the wires into the bottom of the carpet, so you won't notice nothing. So we, the, uh, we gotta the tuck everything that way you don't see any wires but um we got everything to work you guys saw just a second ago um that's it all we have to do is, is wire everything up machine machine and fucking I'm get it under the carpet the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but um cow owes me some head because i hooked them up but uh, <laughs> let's get this done and you guys will see it, the finished product but you're welcome Thank you. <laughs> you, you were already on speaker, wait. Nah. Oh, cool. iTunes, you're cool, wait. We'll see your titty. Alright guys, so we finished completely up. And look at this. You guys can't see no wires. It looks stock. It looks exactly like factory. Let me see. Let me get out in here. And then we adjusted everything in here. We put everything nice and neat, clean. And that's what it's looking like. The box is back there. Let's see if it's... You guys can see the power is there. Let's see if we can hear this machine. It's the moment of truth. Hopefully we wired everything up correctly. We did it before, so I don't see why not. Right? Yeah, go. Oh. It's the USB. No way. We got Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth. It. So we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna wrap it up. These fools are both gonna dip. I gotta go um, hang out with the family because I've been gone all day, like all day. I mean all day. Um, we were right here. You guys saw we painted some of the motor. I'll show you guys what everything looks like in just a minute.
<laughs> that little backfire. Right, so you guys saw yesterday we helped Cal out. Um, today's following day. This is th day three on this whole painting process for uh, the motor, the transmission, all the parts as well. Um, everything is kind of drying right now. Everything I've done so far, at least. Um, we have a couple more things to do. We have the transmission to do. We have the manifold to do and the starter to do. And uh, here's the transmission. We just got to close off this hole over here. Oh, we also have to do... Um, where is it? You guys see I have a fucking mess here. This is all due to me helping Cal. So all this stuff was needed to help Cal, except for like the starter and stuff. But I had a lot of stuff that I needed to take out to help him out. So I'm gonna get to cleaning all this up once we're done. We'll paint the transmission, we'll paint the um, manifold, we'll paint the starter, and we'll get this whole thing um, completely done. That way you guys can see the finished product. Finally, um, I have one more pulley to paint as well. And uh, I think that's it for the most part. Um, let me just figure all this out. Once we're done, we'll start throwing some pulleys on. Some of the pulleys are dry to the touch already, so um, we can throw those on. Um, the water pump housing is done as well. I just gotta wait for um, like gaskets and stuff to come in. Other than that, we're good. Um, if I sound a little bit weird, I just woke up. Um, you guys can tell my face a little bit, I just woke up. But let me um, clean up this mess because I got OCD and um, all this stuff right here is kind of making me go crazy. So I'm gonna clean up this whole mess here and um, we'll go from there. But yeah, you guys can see some of the stuff's painted right there, block. But let me finish up. I'll get some good lighting in here for you guys, and we'll show you guys the finished product. What a wonderful world. think comment down below what you guys think i'm gonna rate this whole thing an eight out of a fucking ten because i don't know it just came out super super clean it looks brand new i think i chose the, the right paint as well and uh if you guys are curious what paint we use we use use this uh, like gray or silver um engine enamel from duplicolor um we also got the manifold here painted wrinkle black we got the water pump housing as well painted wrinkle black we got a compressor here we did this the same silver that we did the uh block and then we got that pulley there and then the shift uh, assembly there. Other than that, here's the transmission. Leaking a little bit of oil, but it's all good. Um, we got this painted the same color as the block as well, but super, super clean as well. Took my time on it. I did two coats, two thin coats, and uh, that's how it turned out. So if you guys wanna do it at home, you guys know how to do it. Degrease it, clean it, some alcohol. And uh, I showed you guys the paint. All you guys gotta do is spray it up. You guys will be fine. Remember, thin coats because um, this thing is like pretty watery, pretty thin, so just be careful with it. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Got my boy Cal. We're going to kick it for a little bit. And uh, you guys saw a system. How'd you feel? How'd you feel about it? <laughs> it was tight. It was tight. <laughs> so um, I think we did a really, really good job. We tucked everything, made everything look nice and clean. We're going to wrap it up here, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.